What are the steps that you need to take when you see a counterfeit of your book on Amazon? I'll tell you all about my recent experience and what you need to do to get that corrected in today's video. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher, and I'm here to share my insights on all things self-publishing with you. Before I get started today, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more videos that I post every week about self-publishing and making a career out of being an author. And today, are we going to talk about the scariest thing that an author can have? And that's when you see a counterfeit of your book up on Amazon or really any other retailer. But this specific case is about Amazon, so that's when I'm going to talk about it. And let me just say, I think Amazon needs to get a few things fixed. I've talked on this channel a lot about the good that Amazon's done, how it's helped open up self-publishing to a lot of authors. But whoa, Nellie, this process was a nightmare. Um, on top of the fact that somebody was counterfeiting my client's book, um, that they made it so difficult just to report. So as you all know, I've been working with um, Chooseify as their independent publisher to help bring their publishing arm together. Their first book, Chooseify, Your Blueprint to Financial Independence, was a big success. Um, and of course, with any measure of success, people come in and want to latch onto that to make a quick buck. Um, so that's counterfeiters. Um, you've probably seen this before where you notice that there is a popular book by an author and then suddenly there's a bunch of other books that pop up. There's actually a whole strategy for rapid release around them. That. people will look at the top books in a category and they will try to write something that covers the same topic with a very very similar title and with a pen name that is very very similar um, but this was not the case this was actually somebody who skimmed our entire book and tried to post it as a new uh, listing on Amazon so those are two separate things um, both are shady one is shadier and flat-out illegal than the other um, the other one is just kind of like mm, I see what you're doing so what most authors realize as they're self-publishing is that most people aren't going to notice their book, but when you are successful, people will come in. Um, when you're seeing an increase of the counterfeiters every year though, Amazon, then you probably want to do something to deter that. I've noticed more people mentioning this and I think it's because I know more authors now. So I'm hearing this anecdotally from others and now I've had to experience it myself um, from the publisher's point of view. In general, because there's so much money in e-commerce and to make online, like these bootleggers are just coming in on these online retailers and they're trying to make a quick buck, but it's just bananas. It's like the wild, wild west. So I spotted the counterfeit for our book and I tried to report it. I took a screenshot of it. I had the ASIN, which is the Amazon um, unique number for each individual item uh, for this counterfeit. And I was directed to one form um, to go and complain about a counterfeit. I had done a chat bot with Amazon to say, hey, I spot a counterfeit of my book. Can I please report this? I was sent to a link to a form. I clicked on it um, right away. I got a bounce back that the complaint was received. Cool. Okay, they're on it. I got an email back that said, nope, I filled out the wrong form and I had to fill out a different one. So I click on it. It's the same form I just filled out. Okay, so I submit it again. This happens two more times where I get the confirmation email that says we received your email and then no, you filled out the wrong form. So at this point, I am losing my mind because how do I just let you know that there's a counterfeit and you are going to take action on it? Like, I don't know how to take them off Amazon. You should know how to take them off. So as I'm going through all of this, this took three days of submitting and resubmitting the forms. And then I finally spoke with two people um, on the phone and no one offered to transfer me to the right department. The people that I talked to were just like, well, you know, that's not this department. And then that was it. Like they didn't say, oh, it's this department. Here's the phone number. They didn't say, oh, no, this is the correct form. I'm going to make sure you get to the right person. Nothing. There was no ownership over making sure that this was corrected. Flat out, that counterfeiter who was selling on Amazon was violating copyright law. They were committing a crime against the intellectual property of my client. And for Amazon to do nothing to be helpful about it, they were complicit in that crime. So they finally got it fixed. I finally got to the right person. I finally got the right form, but I had to hunt so hard to find this information. They finally took it down, but their apathy on it was just so striking. And some of the people that I spoke with on the phone were just like, I'm so sorry, I, I can't help you anymore. What, Do you all work for the big same conglomerate. Why can't you just transfer me to the right department then to have me talk to the right person? Is there, 
I've worked in call centers before. There's a function where you transfer someone. So it was just so frustrating that a, I wasn't being helped and that the people that I talked to seemed like they kind of wanted to help me, but they weren't given any authority to be able to help me. So it was an incredibly frustrating situation. And the way I see it, like Amazon has had some really bad PR issues of late with how they treat their employees, especially their employees in their warehouse that they're being overworked. And that I get, right? Like people want their stuff right now if they have Prime. But when your employees in your call center don't feel empowered to help the people who are making you money, like us having our book available through Amazon makes them money. This is a, su a successful book. They should want to have this fixed so that they can continue to make money. Um, but instead, it was just kind of like, we can't help you. It's somebody else. It's another department. Like you all work for the same company, figure it out, make it easier for the person who's freaking out that their IP is being counterfeited right now. So in general, I really think that the people who are in charge of this entire process need to read the book Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek because he says that you need to empower your workforce to do the right thing for your customers because then they will do the right thing for you. Um, Overall, super frustrating process. I have the link to the correct form below. So it is a very simple URL, amazon.com slash report slash infringement. Um, it did take about three weeks for the counterfeiter to be removed after I received the right link for the right form. Um, so it is really frustrating. And in that time, that person was probably making quite a bit of money off of our IP that we will never recoup. Um, and that's the only punishment is they're just removed. Like that, that's it. Um, and they may pop up again in another few weeks with another listing of the same exact thing. Um, it's kind of like whack-a-mole. So it's really frustrating. Hopefully you don't find yourself in this situation. If you have, I am so sorry you had to go through this. Um, and if you're going through it right now and you're frantically searching for the answer, the link is below. Pack your patience. You are going to need it because, oh, Nelly, this was a tough one. Um, I hope that this has helped you. I hope you never have to experience this, but if you are experiencing it, I hope that this helps you. Um, I hope that you get this issue resolved because you worked hard for your book and somebody should not be trying to make money off of it without your licensing that to them to be able to do that because you own your IP. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you found this valuable. It lets YouTube know that you are getting value and that you want to be here as I produce new content every week. Um, I'm really sorry if you're dealing with counterfeits or anything, but now you can get back to writing your book or fighting the good fight with Amazon to get your counterfeit removed.